for the Horror Hall of Fame. It's a collection of short stories. Do you have it? Let me check. I'm gonna look through the Scott Shero novels. I'll be over here. Okay. Looks like we have it. There's your call number. The short story collection is right on the other end in the alcove. Should be on your right hand side. If you can't find it, let me know. Thanks. What's that? Look no further, or your regrets will be great plus never ending. Is there a problem, kids? I thought I heard a commotion. Uh, no, we, um, I just can't find the book. Yeah, we can't find it anywhere. Mm. I need to run a lot of play now, and no more trouble. Uh, yes. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, yes, sir. You gotta believe me, Al. There was a body there. Someone must have moved it when you left. I'm not making this up. I totally believe you. Something weird definitely is going on. And what was with that librarian? Right? She probably murdered her and left her there. Then forgot she had to go back to her. Why else would she just appear in the doorway like that? No kidding. Maybe we should call the cops. Something tells me that's not a good idea. What if the psycho librarian finds out? I don't want to get murdered in my sleep. I really, really don't want to get murdered in my sleep. That would ruin my whole summer. What do you think that is, anyway? I have no idea. I've never seen it before. There's a date on the back. I think it says 1852. 1852. And the initial's FK. You think something happened in 1852 in Derry? I don't know, but we can find out if the creepy librarian will let us into the New Hampshire room. You really want to risk going back there? I certainly don't want to get murdered while I'm awake either. She won't kill us in broad daylight, right? And besides, between the two of us, I think we can fend her off. Not if she has superhuman powers. I'm just saying, don't rule it out. I think we have to find out what we can. All right, then let's do some research. Look at us. Doing all this research, Mrs. Craig would be proud. History teachers love this kind of junk. All right, I'll check the house histories. I'm checking the article headlines and obituaries. Things of note in 1852, lots of confusing language. They got nothing in the Deeds, war registries, or the house histories. No signs of the initials FK anywhere. Mr. Crabtree will be looking for the Frost Collection, so if you don't mind, he'll be sharing the materials. Um, thank you, Mrs. Darling. I will take it from here. I'm surprised to see kids in the library on such a nice, sunny day. Why's that? Well, I don't know. I thought you would be online, or getting into trouble with your friends, joining a gang, or watching too much TV. Wow. Staring too much. Yeah, maybe it's you who's watching too much TV if that's what you think we're doing all day. Do you know that our generation, the millennials, are the most informed generation ever? That's right, yeah. Ages 16 to 29 read more books than any other demographic. Well, that's refreshing. And what brings you into the library today? Summer school. Uh, right. Well, I think I've got what I'm looking for. I can get anything else from Mrs. Darling. Have a great summer. Those two seem awfully chummy, don't you think? They're definitely in league together. They don't like us being here. You know what that means, right? It means we're actually on to something. Mm-hmm, exactly. Let's keep digging, then. I think I found something.
Dairy Legend and More. In 1852, David McCarthy reported seeing his brother Jasper slip through a portal off Main Street. McCarthy reported that he knew his brother had been taking part in a secret society called Ferguson's Kin. FK. Just like the one on the artifact. Right. There's more. Upon following his brother through, through the portal, he claimed that the secret society was in charge of guarding a gateway to the Fountain of Youth. Listen to this. McCarthy had a reputation for spending his days at the Ale House, so the story never had much sway for the locals. He drew a design of the map that was used to find the location of the portal, much to the hilarity of a few onlookers. Look, this illustration matches the map on the stone. Hmm. And so it does. The Holy Grail, here in Mary. Who knew? Yeah, that seems likely. I mean, I can buy the story of a secret society, but one that guards the fount of youth is just stretching it just a little bit. No kidding. Oh, shoot. I told my mom I'd be back at two. Oh. The body's been delivered. The ritual starts tonight at midnight. I told them it should have been sooner, but Hemingway didn't listen, as usual. Well, they've decided it's Best. I'll meet you at the portal, then. Tonight? It looks like we have no other choice. This is getting weirder and weirder. Do you think they're gonna kill again? Maybe. Or bury the body. I'm getting kind of freaked out. Maybe we should contact the cops. I'll call my mom and tell her I'll be late. This is not made up. Little help here? Maybe you're more believable than me. Alright, officer. If you could just listen. Here. Let me see if I've got this right. You think Rob... Crabtree and Missy Darling are part of a secret society from 1862. 52. Oh, right. 52. And you believe this portal leads to a fountain of youth? We're having a hard time believing it too, but there's definitely something going on. Oh, right. Murder. You guys put together quite the conspiracy. Officer. You know what? It's not, it's not worth it. Let's just go. Murder. Idiots. Kids. I think we're better off on our own. Clearly. We're gonna have to hide out in the library. But first, weapons. <laughs> It's 8 o'clock now. They should be closing in half an hour. If we hide under the tables in the teen section, they shouldn't see us. As long as we put the chairs in, we're fine. You ready? Yeah, I'm always ready to take on an immortal murdering secret society members from the 1800s. Your sarcasm is not appreciated. Oh, 
They're torturing her. Wait, Sam. We can't just go in without a plan. Plan. Right. Going yet? All right. Let's go. What? Where am I? What happened? It's okay. You're safe now. We won't let them hurt you. Hurt me? Hurt her? Hurt her? Why would we hurt her? Oh, come on. We know she's a sacrifice for your morbid ceremonies. On the contrary. I made it. I can't believe I made it. Thank you for saving me. Saving you? With the water from the fountain. Of course. I've been sick for 80 years and searching for the fountain for just as many. I knew if I could find it, it would cure me. It took 40 years to find the disc and another 40 to decipher the map on it. I thought I was going to make it, but when I got to the portal, I didn't know how to open it. I had no energy left, and I collapsed her floor chain. And that's when you found her. When you ran off to get your friend, I opened the portal. Hemingway pulled her through, and I stashed the note and tried to throw you off the trail. That's why the body disappeared. Not everyone can know about the portal or the fountain. You can't help blame us for taking precautions. Well, um, maybe we should be going back. Wait, you, know. you have seen too much. Maybe they were going to kill us before, but they are now. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, you've seen too much. You must join the Ferguson's King. You must take the pledge and join. Um, I, I, I guess. Okay. Maybe. You know what? Sure. Okay. Can you, can you guess? Now part of the Ferguson's kin. Oh god, don't touch it. Okay, so Emily... What?